I started using prescription drugs at the age of about 14 years old. Uh, you know, it just progressed from there anywhere from uh, number three codeine on into uh, Opana, Dilata, uh, all different kinds types of prescription medications. Um, been really strung out most of my life, and I just woke up one day and decided that it was time to get clean. William Perry lives in Bloomington, Indiana, and is a recovering prescription drug addict. His story began at a young age, much like many others who struggle with addiction and sobriety. Every day in the United States, 2,500 youth from the ages 12 to 17 abuse a prescription drug for the first time. Prescription drugs are the most commonly used drugs next to marijuana. This may be because many teens believe using prescription drugs are safer than using other illegal street drugs. According to the 2013 IU Bloomington College Survey Report, one in six students reported to taking prescription drugs not prescribed to them. A former IU student and recovered addict, Jackie Daniels, says Indiana University's number of students dependent on alcohol and drugs is continuing to grow and various types of drugs are being abused among IU Bloomington students. Over the last couple years, not just on campus but nationally, there's been a big focus on prescription drug abuse. Um, and more recently for college campuses, it's been about the abuse of stimulant medications, whether prescribed by a, a medical doctor or psychiatrist or uh, prescription drugs that people are getting from their friends or buying off the street. Um, and then on top of Adderall, Ritalin, um, those kinds of stimulants that are being abused. There's also a lot of opiate um, abuse concern. Daniels is the director of the OASIS program, an alcohol and drug information center on IU's campus. Daniels says she works with over 200 students a year, and she is concerned about the prescription drug abuse epidemic because of its many deadly outcomes. The impact for me on campus is the fact that students will mix these drugs together, either because they don't know about the drug interactions or they tried it before and they just felt like they were okay that one time. And I think most of the student deaths that happen on campus, I think a lot of them are caused by the uh, drug interactions or using and combining substances more than one at a time. Prescription drugs cause the largest percentage of deaths from overdose each year. Depressants, opioids, and antidepressants are responsible for more overdose deaths than cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, and amphetamines combined. Research in this area is increasing, and for the first time ever, the American Institute for Research conducted a survey on prescription drug use here at IU's campus. This took place this April, says Nancy Stockton, the Director of Counseling at CAPS. The CAPS program is available to students for counseling and psychological services. Stockton says she has noticed a spike in talk amongst students about prescription drug use. Some of it may have to do with accessibility. There's an awful lot of narcotics being prescribed in the country. There's, I believe, maybe greater access to them. I've heard of students getting prescription drugs on the Internet, getting them from other countries. So I think there's a, in a number of ways the supply is increasing. IU's campus is a large part of the Bloomington community, and many students decide to stay in Bloomington after they graduate. Therefore, prescription drug abuse is a large issue in Bloomington as a whole. 654 Hoosiers died from accidental drug overdoses in 2010. In 2012, the Bitter Pill Initiative was launched, a program to help fight prescription drug abuse. This is just one step Indiana is taking to stop this hidden epidemic that continues to claim lives of people of all ages. Bitterpill.in.gov has a list of resource options for those who are curious about symptoms or believe they have an addiction. The Recovery Engagement Center is one of the treatment centers listed in Bloomington. Perry, a recovering addict himself, now volunteers at the Recovery Engagement Center. Perry says the treatment centers are the most important tool for addicts trying to get help because they provide peer support. I find that Bloomington is really receptive to this. Uh, you know, I know they saved my life, uh, kept me from going to prison and everything else. So, you know, it uh, it's really turned out really, really well for me. 
Because of the impact treatment centers have began to make for prescription drug abusers, Director of Oasis, Daniels, says Oasis has proposed sober housing for IU's Bloomington campus. The housing would be a designated area for students with substance abuse problems. There, the staff and residents would work together to maintain a healthy environment for all. Bloomington is taking steps to fight the hidden epidemic that is affecting many of its residents. However, these steps could come to a halt if treatment centers cannot continue fighting the funding issues they face. Reporting for WFHB, this is Olivia DeWeese.